Well, I just thought I would walk over, introduce you to the goats. Such a lovely day. Cinnamon. I think that was uh, Bianca. Oh, sorry. Cinnamon, Bianca, and... Uh, Oh, no, that's Bianca, white. There's some other ones. This one here, you know, I've sent off pictures to the vet. He figures it's just old because I've dewormed it, done everything I need to do. And, uh, well, we're trying to figure that out. So if anybody comments about how that one looks thin, yeah, we know that, okay? And But you look at them. I mean, i am I'm got some healthy goats here. Beautiful enclosure for them. Look at the trees and... They've got a nice little warm place to sleep at night. Okay, and the kids' old skate park him and I built. Bike park, skate park. Still in pretty good shape. So, it's another part of the farm. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. Hi there, sweetie. Hi. Look at how nice they are, eh? Hey, sweetie. Boy, oh boy, I bet you you'd make some nice nice rosemary goat chops there's all sorts of recipes on the internet i'm not going to do that to you guys you're way too special okay look at that <laughs> okay this one here's a little bit standoffish she's like the mom oh there we go somebody's pooping i should actually no i'm not going to do that that's just, just too much All the feed in there. Let's, uh, oh, really? Really? You guys want to eat right now? It's early. I mean, you got all sorts of grass to eat. Ah, I missed them. I'll get that later. I'll reset them up. I got to go get some feed from the back of the truck. I got it in the, uh, I went and got to buy some more oats. You know, there's the shavings and hay, and, but they got plenty of grass to eat this time of the year. Okay, you guys, I think I'm gonna go into the studio. Maybe do something in a studio, figure something out today. Maybe we do a casting. How about that? I got some castings that need to be done. All right, you guys, see you in the studio. Well, we're back in the studio. Gloves on. When you see me sometimes go look up at the camera like that, it's because I'm getting uh, text messages. Okay, glasses, right? You want your safety glasses on. My seeing glasses, I've wound this up four times. I've wound that up four times. Can you see that? Okay, I've wound that up four times. And I got that ready. We all know about the casting. Maybe we don't. Maybe you're just tuning in. If you're just tuning in and you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit hit the like button. There's a little bit of the Frank the Jeweler, a little bit of my farm, a little bit of the garden, and a lot about the jewelry store. I did not store, the jewelry making. Okay. Oven, crucible. Crucible's in here. Remember, before I put it in, I make sure I check to, to see that it's... Uh, the, the holes aren't obstructed, you know? Nothing worse nothing worse than doing a casting and then the metal doesn't come in and it just piles up inside the crucible. So number one, we're not worried about the back of it. Got a little bit of junk on it. This is the side we're worried about. So uh, there's the sprues. I could tell the pieces that are, are, I want to cast are like this. So it's nice and clean. And there's no panic to get it done right away. Don't panic. It's going to be all right. It's at a thousand degrees. It's, it's the core temperature is not going to drop that much. Now I've got these little spots set up here. Number one, number two, number three, number four. Now they're both identical, so it doesn't really matter today. Number one. So I know what it is, right? The number one, I've, I've, I took the time to weigh the waxes and I made a list and I know that these are have a certain weight and each one has a certain weight so you number them you number the flasks 
okay? You see, I hope you can see, check back with some of my other videos where you can see what I'm doing there. Okay, let's get the torch and let's get this done. I got the fan going here, so there's a lot of, a lot of air going, okay. Can you hear that? Can you hear that, how that's howling? You want to have, you want to have some heat. And then there's two types of, there's a normal flame, an oxidizing flame where you have too much oxygen on there. You know, that changes, you don't want that. And that's a carburizing flame, you don't want that either. You want that right in the middle there. A little bit of boric acid. Yeah, okay, good. Everything's all lined up nice. Nothing's in here, nothing's gonna fall in. Carbon stirring rod. That's got nice. Now, this is like a spring driven manual machine. I got a little adjustable leg on it. I, I don't know. When I, if you notice it, I don't just snap it. I kind of, I use the torch to hold it and I, I kind of swing it out, right? I, I let it, I launch it, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's casting. Well, let's do one more. We've got one more in there. So you can see me wind the machine up and do all that type of stuff. Uh, hmm. that, is that good there? Sure, that's good right there. All right, so let's get uh, that out. Some people can put it down here. I have a little go-to place. over here it's a stainless steel it's got air ventilation under it so nothing heats up too much okay see how that stops there there's a little catch in the bottom there that winds the spring up so one two three four okay Again, number two. Oh, there you go. You can see it there. Number two, nice and clean. Okay, good burnout. Put it in the way I want it. Okay, that's all weighed out. Make sure you look in the bottom of your cup. That's all in there. There's an art to it, so you learn as you go. Okay. Yeah. You want to pick up a little bit of a bark acid there on the, on the, heat that up, get dunked into the, dunk it into the little dark. The bark acid absorbs oxygen and it just helps with the movement of the metal to happen. Does it look good? Is it good now? Yeah, I'm happy with that. You see how I'm launching it? I'm holding this, and then I launch it. <laughs> launching. Launch pad McQuack. Okay, I didn't say that, did I? Okay. 
this one here should be ready to just, uh, just uh, I got a bucket here. Turn this on. Here. Okay, you don't want to put it in right now, it's too hot. This one here, no problem. Leave that there, we're going to need it. Don't be doing this for platinum items or anything like that. It's for silver, and I know the thickness of these silver items. They can handle the scrunching. Okay, that's casting, that's a little bit of the goat. Turned out beautiful. Now, it's a dark color like this because that's just what sterling silver does, okay? It's because it's gonna go in the pickle, it's gonna be all white. These castings turned out just fantastic. So I'm gonna put, clean these up, put them in the ultrasound, put them in the uh, into the pickle, and that's gonna be enough for today. Hey you guys, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, make a comment. Uh, maybe even share it, okay? Uh, what is it? That's it. Okay, and so what else? Be kind to your farm animals if you got them. Otherwise, don't have them. And uh, you guys have a great day. <laughs>